Alright guys, today we're going to the compound, we're taking the Miata. I'm really excited to see how long it lasts. Like, I don't know if it's going to make it one lap, or maybe it'll make it the whole time. I don't know if it's even going to blow up at all. Like, eh, I don't know. It's going to be really interesting to see what happens. And a lot of fun. We're going to show up with some new, not new friends, but friends who've never been to the compound before. We've never driven with at the compound. So that's going to be fun. Uh, but first we have to address something with the truck and trailer setup. Fortunately, it's still hooked up because we had to go save Matt the other day. So it just kind of worked out like that. But when I first bought this truck, I got this like standard drop hitch. It's like a five and a quarter. Um, that worked to the U-Haul trailer. Then I had to tow Marco's trailer and I needed a whole new drop hitch and I couldn't find one that had more drop than that locally. So when I got my trailer, I needed to get a completely different drop hitch. So I decided instead of trying to buy like five of these different standard link drop ones, that I can't even find locally, I'm just gonna get an adjustable one. So this is what I decided to get. It's from a company called Bulletproof Hitches. I emailed them um, and gave them like all the measurements that they needed and they were able to tell me exactly which amount of drop I needed. Really great customer service. They were willing to help me out a little bit on this hitch and I, I really appreciate that. Really good company overall. I'm not gonna lie, I've already opened this and I literally sat here and gawked at this thing for like 20 minutes. Oh, they sent me a shirt. It's tight. Oh my God. All right, check this thing out. I saw pictures of this online and I was like, man, it looks really nice, but I didn't realize how nice till I got it here. It's like the simple things like these pins. Instead of having like one of these pins that just has like a little ring on it you grab or something like these have been machined so you have like a spot to put your fingers they've got these like badges that they put on here so the reason i got this hitch was because for example the other hitch i had they're all limited by the ball because the balls thread in so the ball i think on the two inch is like five thousand pounds and the two and five sixteenths is like eight thousand well on this it's their own ball and it's welded to this whole assembly so for the two inch you have a rating of 12,000, 2 and 5 16 22,000. So that means anything that I can tow behind that truck, this hitch will meet and exceed that ability. All right, now for the moment I've been eagerly waiting for, let's get it put on the truck. I, I've been waiting to show it to you guys and like all its glory. So it's been killing me. It's been like two days. <laughs> I've got it and I've been waiting to show it to you before I can put it on the truck. So you can see how much of an incline the trailer is at. Which the problem is, I have issues, especially it gets even worse when a car is loaded on it and I have issues with the tail scraping the ground. So we need to level it out. So let's go ahead and get the hitch swapped on. Alright, it's on. It's crazy. Hold on, let me turn this truck off. It's loud. So like this hitch, this is like a standard like Reese hitch. See how that's hollow? The same thing is solid on here. Also, the size of this is actually like the exact size it needs to be. There's very little slop in here, just enough to get it to slide in comfortably. This one had a ton of slop. Like, let's see, I want to try this test again. Yeah, there's like barely any movement now. Before, when I jumped up and down here, the whole thing like flopped so much. All right, so the trailer's all ready to go. Problem number two, if you guys remember, I bent this inner tie rod. I don't know if think you can see it. And crack this rim. Rim's still holding air, tie rod's pretty bent. I'm gonna pull it into the garage and get the inner tie rod off. Grabbed and picked up an inner tie rod from our buddy Jace, who's on his way here. So we're gonna change that before we go instead of trying to bend the old one back or something ghetto like that. I literally went to move the car and the tie rod just broke. I don't know if you can see it. It's completely snapped. Oh, fun stuff. Gonna try to get it somewhere where we can work on it.
So yeah, this was bent, and then it just broke just now when I went to drive it. So I gotta get that inner off, get this piece out of here, and then put a new tire on it. It's already super late, but we're still gonna go anyway, because the sun doesn't set till seven, so might as well. And it's out. So Fed introduced me to what do you call pipe, pipe, wrench. wrench. pipe wrenches. I never thought that these would work with a crap, but they work amazingly well, like way better than vice grips. If you don't own one of these, buy yourself one. This is an awesome tool to have. They're Thanks, Fed. So. Yes, yeah, directional. So if you're going left, it needs to be like that, and it'll that's because it bites in. Like you can see, the teeth are like angled one direction. So very useful. That's like got this part of the tie rod out of the other end. So Grafton's a good friend, went out of his way to give me a tie rod, but it turned out to be the wrong one. The threads are smaller on this one, the replacement, than wherever, wherever the other one is. So unfortunately I'm not gonna be driving, but our, our good friend Chris is there. Grafton can drive with him. I'm gonna go hang out either way. Uh, just total fail on my part. It sucks that auto parts stores don't carry this in stock. So now we gotta get the car back and go to the compound. I decided to ride with Grafton and go to the compound anyway. I don't know if I already said that, but we're almost there and there's an accident. Like, literally right there. There's no cops or anything yet. Oh, and something happened over there too. Maybe that's his body parts flew over there from the car. <laughs> oh, dang. I've been like going okay. way off like all day. Really? Made it out here, Chris is here. Hi. Hooray. We told him, I told him we were gonna be here between 12, 12 and one. And what time is it? Like five. 4.58. <laughs> <laughs> so we're a little bit late, but we made it. Better late than never, right? Car, but Grafton's owning video? his car. We look, yeah. I gotta do a plug. We look so, we look so baller right now. We got like full enclosed trailer and everything. It's not ours. What are you plugging? Huh? What do you, what do you well, mean? I've been calling you the last like four weeks. Well, All right, people, no, you I was supposed to go to this, you should say but, it. You should say it. oh, I gotta say it now? Yeah. You're making me like be a promoter here? Yeah. All right, I was supposed to go to this. Chris Jackson invited me, I was really excited, but it's on the 14th and I'll be at Irvindale. But it is the face off and it's, what does that say, Sering? Sebring. 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 Oh, there's, there's Chris's car, that's exciting. October 14th, it's like a big car show, drift event. Is it a two-day thing or a one-day one thing? One-day thing. One-day thing. Um, check it out. Really, really cool. Link below. I'll Only because I love you, Chris. Thank you. It's about time. Only because I love you. Oh, well, oh like, let's high five. Okay. I cool. thought you were gonna try to get the camera. So was... This one. Bronco to the rescue. But I got lucky and Chris has a car that he's gonna let me drive. Walk us through it, tell, tell me about it. It's turd. It's, uh, we gotta walk around the car. We're not just gonna stay in okay. one spot, Chris. What are you okay. thinking? We got, a, we got a wing. Okay, so we got a wing, got a wing. crazy paint job. Crazy paint Gutted job. Gutted completely inside with one yeah, seat. The guy's name's Al that did the paint job. Uh, Al, one shout seat. out to Al. One it's seat. got um, switches, switches. Like race car stuff. And um, a gauge panel, that's tight. None of them work though. None of them work, all right. That's par for the course. SR20, no blow off valve. SR, no blow off valve, making no moves. High, uh, Revolutionary. High mount intercooler and... Um, oh, it does have a mid mount, nice. Yeah. This thing's gonna rip, dude. I'm excited to drive yeah. this. Twin, this is like, uh, twin disc. Twin oh, and it's got a twin disc, that's so. baller. This is like Japanese spec, except... Yeah. yeah. This is a budget build, for sure. Oh, Perfect. awesome roof scoop, like custom made roof scoop. Oh my god. Tom Becker made that. That is so. It's actually AC for a race car. It's sick. It goes Does it really that. work? Dude, look at that. It goes like in the freaking factory mount. Oh, nice. Like it's good breeze. It's nice. Oh, yeah. I'm stoked, Chris. Thank you. I'm excited to drive this. This is like 
back to like what I learned how to drift on, kind of. Yeah, you're gonna have to learn fun. all over again. Yeah, is that power steering? Yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah. Then we're good. We're Two good. Basic no handbrake. No handbrake. That's fine. I mean, it works, but not like enough to work. In the right. Drifting. Okay. That's fine.
intersection. I'll try. I might spin though, but it's your car either way. <laughs> Oh, see that? Oh my gosh. Yeah, that's not good. I don't think I'm all this fixed. Here, what's all that play? Uh, the joint. What joint? The one down here. It's loose. Oh, yeah? It's loose? Yeah. Probably tighten that back up. It's kind of sketchy. It's a rubber one, too. I just lost the banana. This has been really fun. I've never driven a car, or I haven't driven a car in a long time that was like super challenging to drift and all sorts of like wonky, like alignment and no handbrake and just sketchiness and it's so much fun. Sketchy cars are the best. Chris, you're the best. You're my favorite. I'm your favorite, I'm your favorite now? Yeah. He don't even answer his phone ever, but I'm the best. I, I know what you do. You call, he always calls at the absolute worst time. He's like, I'm at work. And then I'm, I'm like, I'm not I gotta at work. call you back. Yeah, I'm not at work. Call me later. We're not gonna talk. I gotta go. I gotta go. I gotta go. <laughs> All right, Chris is taking the S bucket out. Man, what's it out Insanely epic. Talking about taking on everything. Chris Jackson, ladies and gentlemen. Can I do that again? I saved you and then I. Can you do that again? That was cool.
no that was problem. so much fun dude thank you sir like i didn't expect to have anything to drive when i got out here i was just coming to hang out and i got to drive this thing which is a freaking blast the sketchiest cars are the best cars let's be real oh for sure there's it was sure. so much fun especially because dude i was like because i know you guys like aren't worried about it i'm like dropping tires back front like the bottom of this car is probably so gone yeah so gone. they had already sent it off course like 10 times like, before i got like here 15 20 feet in over there <laughs> Like deep. So don't, don't, I'm not an asshole, I promise. I was just, I was driving it the way Chris would want me to. Close to I just have to, I have to tell the audience that, otherwise they'll think no, that I'm just like no, destroying your car. That's what they do at all my cars though. Yeah, so. that's true. This thing has been so fun. Bitch, why did you take damage with the windshield though? Like, everything the only else thing that broke is the windshield. Yeah, like literally, that's the only thing. When I was driving, I went off in that corner over there. Oh. Uh. Right there. Damn, that's crazy. Uh, I wish I had like a house with enough space for more cars and I would totally try to find a missile car S chassis and Chris has one, we could run into each other. Looks like everyone's loading up, getting ready to head out. Oh. Woo! They're all leaving. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and end this video out now. Uh, it sucks I didn't get to drive me out of here. Like, tried so hard to get it here, but I really wanted to tell with my new hitch. Like, I was really excited to test it out, but. You know, it happens. Um, so I'm hoping to drive it one last time before I pull the motor out of it because, you know, I want to give it one last hoorah. You know, it's still got some compression. Uh, but anyway, that's it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Lots of stuff coming this week. Goodbye, Chris. Bye, Chris.